Mrs. Lang was the best teacher. She was the kind of teacher that kids could only dream of having. She made learning fun, and we never wanted school to end. To get our attention, all she would have to do is raise her hand, and we'd all raise our hands in response to show her that we were giving her five, as she called it. Giving her five would mean eyes on speaker, mouth quiet, sitting still, and listening. I know there was another one, because of course it was giving her five, not giving her four, but I can't seem to remember it. Whenever we did this, the class grew silent, and it would leave other teachers in awe at her great teaching skills and getting our class to be so quiet so efficiently. In the mornings, we'd all sing songs together, whether we were standing on our desks or moving around on the floor. It was always so much fun. We took our pencils, highlighters, or markers, anything we could find, and put them in our hands and used them as microphones. And we even put rulers on our desks to be keyboards for when the piano was playing. At dear time, which stood for drop everything and read, we all read silently in our desks. She even let us put our feet up on our desks if we wanted to. We felt like real, live business people. One time, me and one of my friends had been digging outside and we were actually digging in the ground and we had actually found big rocks underneath all the dirt and the mud. We'd been digging for days and days with sticks, bigger rocks, uh, it was like tools. And we'd found these amazing, they were big, rocks and we thought they were dinosaur eggs. <laughs> Needless to say, they weren't, but they were these huge rocks and she of course, being a teacher, I'm sure she knew that they weren't real, <laughs> but she let us keep them as the class and show them off, and she was really nice, and it was great because we had spent that much time digging and stuff and using up our recess time. We'd run out there and come back at the very last second just to dig for these rocks that we thought were dinosaur eggs. Then one day we came into the classroom. The door was left open and we saw a complete surprise. Mrs. Lang's apron was left strewn across the floor, a banana peel in one part, and her chair tipped over, and her gumball machine was on the floor as well. It was a complete disaster. Someone had come into our classroom, mysteriously. My best friend and I, we searched for clues, and him and me being sort of a team together, and everyone came and we all came to our like group and kept record of the clues seeing you know where they came in what they did everything we were like kind of like Sherlock Holmes the scene had left us completely befuddled but rest assured after a while Miss Lang told us that it had been her after all and she had done this whole thing just to get our minds going and you know everything she had done it as sort of a surprise for us and to see what we could figure out and it was actually really fun we weren't really worried we were really intrigued by the whole thing that someone had come through a mysterious suspect and had done mysterious things and we were trying to figure it out I think it was really clever of her and it it was so much fun one day we had a a day at school where we could chew gum, just our class, and we did it secretly. When we went out for recess, we had to spit out our gum, and then when she let us back in, she would let us have some more gum. She bought all the gum herself and gave it to us, and it was super fun because you're never allowed to chew gum in school, and finally we had a day where we could. But none of the other teachers knew. One day, we all dressed up as pioneers and had a pioneer day. We'd been learning about pioneers for a while, and it made us all love it so much, so much that we wished we could be pioneers too. Mrs. Lang, being her creative self, decided that we could have a pioneer day. We came to school dressed up as pioneers, handmade clothes, long dresses, special shoes. We all had, instead of writing on paper, pioneers, since they wrote on slates, we wrote on mini chalkboards that we had in our classroom. The counter, Mrs. Lang had a bowl and a pitcher of water and we all brought our mugs to school that day and that's how we would get water out of the bowl 
and it was really fun and we actually drank a lot of water that day because we felt so special just like pioneers and just like pioneers if we did something wrong or misbehaved we had to have a pioneer punishment now mrs. Lang wasn't about to obviously strike us with our wrists with a leather whip or her meter stick she wasn't mean and so we would have other pioneer punishments like having to hold um, a whole stack of really heavy books in front of the class and you couldn't drop any of them another punishment was writing you know I will not talk in class or something like that over and over on the board and of course in front of the whole class so they'd be ashamed of themselves and we'd all be laughing but it was all in good fun and we would we were very pioneerish we even turned off the lights just like pioneers would and at recess while everyone else went inside when the school bell rang we had a kind of ramp little wooden staircase sort of out of an exit door that was by our classroom and Mrs. Lang used that and she rang her bell and that's how we all went in. People kind of stared at us, but then they were like, oh, oh, they have Pioneer Day today. That's right. And it was really fun. We even went to a Pioneer Museum in our town. And we then got to sit in the Pioneer Schoolhouse with someone um, from the museum. And we wrote letters to our parents with real ink wells and and ink and we all wrote letters on paper just like pioneers did and they had old books that we read all from pioneer times and we sat in the old desks and it was so cool mrs. Lang definitely made this one of the best days ever and we sh we wished that we could be pioneers all the time that lady was really creative we also did something called scooter city sometimes when we went in the gym we had these little four-wheeled scooters that you know you could sit on roll around the gym and so she set it up like a city we had a jail where you would go and sit on benches and you would sit there so if you were in the jail whether you were speeding or whatever on your scooter and then you'd have to sit there for an amount of time and your arms would be held by these little rubber hoops houses and garages were hula hoops on the ground we also had a hospital in case you went into a scooter accident and those were mats and then there were doctors to heal you there was a park with you know skipping ropes and everything there was a store and you know we had play money there was even a restaurant and Mrs. Lang had this really cool pizza set it was wooden it was velcro and everything and it was so much fun we all loved it and it was scooter city was what every kid loved to do got to wheel around on little scooters in the gym and it was the most creative and most fun thing we could ever do and she also celebrated holidays that people don't normally celebrate like Groundhog Day and just little things and she on Earth Day we all picked up trash around the schoolyard and everything and it was all so creative we had people that did daily jobs you know handing stuff out um, writing their name up on the board switching the calendar at the end of the week everyone would move everyone in the back would move their desks to the front of the rows and then everyone would move back so everyone got a chance to sit in the front she even let me bring my pet mouse to school to show everyone we even learned about dragons even though they aren't real we got to learn about dragons dragons and I'm obsessed with dragons especially then and we painted dragons and we learned about them what we could you know from different books and stuff and it was super fun I just wanted to thank Mrs. Lang my grade 2 teacher I absolutely adored learning with her I never wanted school to end when I woke up in the morning I was excited for school as everyone else was she was literally the best teacher ever you people could only dream of having her we were actually the last class to have her and I was really really um, grateful that we had a chance to have such an amazing experience with Mrs. Lang. Even though it was so long ago, I still remember a lot. Mrs. Lang is still my favorite teacher of all time. And you will meet a lot of amazing people in your life, but Mrs. Lang was definitely one of those, the heroes in my life. And 
Without her, I wouldn't be where I was today, and I wouldn't have goals and expectations. I would be nowhere without her. Then, in grade 3, I got the chance to have her again when we had split grades, and I was overjoyed. And I just wanted to thank her for that. After that, she retired, which was sad, but... I, have, I haven't seen her since then, except maybe once in a grocery store, but she was the most amazing teacher ever. Without her, I literally don't know where I would be today. I wouldn't be as great of a person as I am now. So thank you, Mrs. Lang. You are my favorite teacher.